Hey guys, it's Lisa from Paper Grace Designs, and I had a little request to show how I do one of my little favorite techniques, and it's just embossing only with a nestability die. Now, I like to use my Vagabond for just about everything, because for me it's the easiest thing to do. No cranking involved, and you know, hey, it's pretty fun too. So I'm just going to show you how I do it, and it's pretty easy. Now on the Vagabond, when you're doing embossing only, the important thing to remember is that you take out the solo thin die adapter. Um, so that's the big thing to remember. You keep on the thin little um, solo shim, which is this piece right here that's stuck here. I think you can see that. And that's the big thing that you, you know, remember you've got your base plate here and then you've got the solo shim and that's it, but you take out the solo thin die adapter that you would normally use to die cut. But when you're embossing only, you take out the solo thin die adapter. So I'm going to show you how I emboss only, um, and you'll see what I'm talking about when the whole thing is done. Okay? So we've got the platform, we've got the solo shim, and um, I've got my jacked up <laughs> clear plate right here, which you can see is pretty gnarly. So I've got that down. And then the next thing that we put down is the die, which is going to be face down. So that's the cutting part. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you because I've got something that's already stamped. So I'm just going to kind of stick that like, like this because you want the blade not to cut. So the blade is going to be face up. So actually what would be a, a good thing to do is to have like a piece of washi tape or something like that. So I'm just going to run over here to my messy desk and find a, just a little teeny piece of um, washi tape and just tape that down so it doesn't shift on me. And um, that way it'll be easier. And I imagine I could probably do this in the reverse, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So just center that over your over your sentiment. And like I said, I'm just going to put that face down. So the cutting is face down on my mat like that. And then Sizzix has the uh, the rubber the black rubber mats. So I'm just going to put the rubber mat on top of the cardstock. And then they also have the impressions, the black impressions pad. So that goes on top of that. Now it feels like it's going to be a tight fit, but it fits and then you just turn your vagabond on or press it in the direction that it's supposed to go and then everything pops out the other side and as long as you had everything the way it was supposed to go then you will have a lovely piece of embossed only cardstock see how it just it's just embossed only so that's how I do that. Pretty cool, huh? And then you can cut it or put it on a, you know, a card and do whatever you want from there. But that's how I do that. And uh, one of my favorite tricks for making a one layer card is to do something like that. And it's really a neat uh, little trick to make a card stand out. Thanks for watching today and ignore all the mess in the background. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.